The shaitan whispers to you at a frequency that makes you believe it's your own voice, but it's really his. And there's certain hadiths and verses of even the Quran that you might not be qualified to even understand yet. Stop overcomplicating your deen. Stop overcomplicating your faith. There's a reward for you in exploring these doubts, but in a positive way. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, Allah would reward me for having doubts about His deen, about Islam. Allah's going to reward you for having doubts about Islam. Yes, if you handle them correctly. Before we jump into this video, guys, uh, just know that I've taken a little hiatus. Uh, if you don't know by now, my, my mother-in-law has returned back to Allah. So just trying my best to be there for my, my, uh, my, my wife as she grieves her loss, as I grieve with her. You know, uh, a quick reminder before we jump into this video that uh, Ramadan is officially less than two months away. And depending on when you see this, probably even uh, closer. Uh, and uh, today's, uh, we're going to continue on with the 99 names of Allah. I don't know what name I'm on right now, but uh, today's name is going to be really helpful. And today's name is going to be Al-Alim. Al-Alim. Now, a lot of us know this as the one, you know, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the all-knowing. Which is, which is very true, right? But it's from the concept that he's not just all-knowing as in he acquired the knowledge, he always had the knowledge. And that's a weird concept to understand. And today we're going to talk about how we can apply that. But let's jump into this video first. Okay, let's go to the other part first. Okay. I'm, I'm re I, this all, by the way, inspired me from an Instagram uh, DM that I got. So if you have any questions, you can DM me on my Instagram, okay? Um, this question, this, this person sent me a hadith that they didn't understand. And they're saying, brother, this hadith is giving me a lot of doubts. First and foremost, we're taught to leave that which gives you doubts. That's number one. That's some quick advice for you. Well, it's all free. Some advice for you. Leave that which gives you doubts. This is giving you doubts. Leave it for now. Okay. I want to tell you a narration or like a interpretation of a narration because I'm not going to quote it word for word. You know me. I'm basic. Some companions came to the Messenger Sallallahu and they said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, we have these thoughts that we wouldn't dare share with you. We have these, these negative thoughts, you know, the same negative thoughts that you and I have. The same thoughts where you're, you're, you're unsure about certain things. You're not, you don't know. You, you're having doubts. Your heart is volatile. It's having some doubts. The messenger saw some, asked, this is true. He said, yes, this is true. But we're having these doubts. And one of the messengers saw some say, come on. Oh, kafir. Oh, leave Islam. No, look at you. Your iman is... No, no, no. He said the urta. He said, that's a sign of iman. Two things to learn from this. One, the fact that you even feel bad for having the doubts is the sign of iman. Copy? Good. And the second part about that is the fact that the shaitan's plan has been reduced to just whispers. We should be thanking Allah for that, that wow, whenever this thought comes in my head, it's from the whispers of the shaitan and the shaitan is so weak that the only way that he can distract us is just by this mediocre mediocre type of whispers to deter us, to stop us, to, to, to create a little hurdle. That's all he's doing. He's just slowing you down. And for some of you weak-minded people out there, you think that, that it means I got to leave Islam because this doesn't make sense, but then this doesn't, and then you read this, and then you go down and you start Googling a bunch of random stuff that doesn't even make sense. What did the messenger Sallallahu Alaihi tell us? He congratulated us to some degree. And he said that the fact that you even felt a certain way is a clear sign of Iman. Okay. The Messenger Sallallahu has taught us that the shaitan will come and try to even ruin your most positive of deeds. To the degree where a person is just going to be enjoying nature. Wow. Alhamdulillah, look at this. Amazing, amazing scenery, amazing everything, amazing stuff around me. The shaitan will uh, make a little whisper that sounds like your own thoughts, but it's really the whispers of the shaitan. He speaks to you. The shaitan whispers to you at a frequency that makes you believe it's your own voice, but it's really his. We have radio frequencies that we can't even hear. We, got, we have to have a radio to catch those frequencies. Shaitan speaks at such a unique frequency that it goes straight to your ears, to your heart, directly there. And you don't even know it. You don't even see it as someone else's voice. You think it's your own voice, but it's really the shaitan. I, di I digress. Okay. 
Shaitan was going to come to you and just be like, wow, this is so beautiful, right? Like, who, who, who made this? Look at this beautiful grave. Who made this? You're going to say, Allah. SubhanAllah, of course. Wow, Allah. Look, look what you made. Shaitan will then pose another question. Well, who made Allah? That's it. That's the time you have to say, Astaghfirullah, a'udhu billahi min shaitan. You got to catch yourself like, ah, oh, what kind of question is that? No, 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 no. Those are the types of questions that the shaitan says to you so that you can instill the doubts within your heart. What did the messenger saw some tell us? That when you have things like that, all you have to say is I believe in Allah. Amantu billah. I believe in Allah. Not the shahada, not the Quran, not nothing. Amantu billah. I believe in Allah. That is enough. That is enough for you. Some of you out there think that you have all this knowledge. Some of you are smart, too smart for your own good. You start thinking that you're somebody, you're so smart for your own good. But there's, and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Alim. Because He is the all-knowing, not you or I. I don't care how big of your scholar is that you follow. There's still information that's kept from you within the Qur'an. There's still, inf- forget a hadith, forget all that sort of stuff. There's still gems in the Qur'an that no scholar could decipher. Even the Messenger saw some couldn't decipher certain things from the Qur'an. Ask you, blasphemy. Tell me what does Alif Lam Mim mean? Tell me. The Messenger saw some couldn't. There's certain things in the Quran that even the Messenger of Allah couldn't tell you what they were. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Because this is to show you that Al Alim will always be supreme. Not my hat. Al Alim will always be supreme. There will be always knowledge that He has that we will never be, we won't be able to acquire that knowledge. And that's where we have to surrender. So depending on how you handle your doubts, depending on how you deal with having these weird questions or doubts, you can get rewarded. Because if you handle your doubts correctly, if you handle them in a very nice way where you're remembering, oh, Allah is enough for me. I believe in Allah. I'm into Billah. Oh, that's enough. And you, you, you chase the shaitan. The shaitan runs away. The Messenger saw some teachers as he runs away from that, right? Because you can't. If you're struggling with some hadith, oh, have you ever thought that maybe that's out of your pay grade? Have you ever thought that you're not ready for that yet? Have you ever thought that maybe you still need to perfect the Asma al Husna first? Have you ever thought that you have to learn the hadith Nawawi first? Have you ever thought that you have to start at the basics first? You might not be ready for that narration. So instead of saying, Allah, oh, oh my God, I'm having doubts in this hadith and blah, 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 just shut up. You're, you're doing something that's beyond your measure right now. Chill out for a second. Amen to Billah. I believe in Allah. For some people, that is enough. So if you're someone there out there having struggles and all that sort of stuff and doubts about Islam, what are you doubting? Do you not believe in the Creator? Allah, do you not believe in the day of judgment? If the answer is yes, you're good. That's what you need. That's the taqwa you need. And if you need the instructions on how to navigate that, you go to the Quran. The Quran. Do you believe in the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi If the answer is yes, that's all you need. Stop overcomplicating your deen. Stop overcomplicating your faith. There's a reward for you in exploring these doubts, but in a positive way. And that positive way is recognizing that these are the whispers of the shaitan. And when you recognize that it's the whispers and you recognize that you feel bad for having these doubts, that's a clear-cut sign of iman. So do, don't lose hope. Don't fall into the trap of the devil. The devil is not going to make you do shirk and blah, 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 blah. You might not be able to. He might not be able to do these uh, big, big you know, problems. Make you commit these major sins, but he will try to make you run away from your faith. You got to remember that. And there's certain hadiths and verses of even the Quran that you might not be qualified to even understand yet. Yet. But we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He expands our minds, expands our, our chests, and allows us to absorb the information which is good for us. Which is good for us, for in this dunya, in the hereafter, and of course, may Allah subhanahu wa taala unite us in paradise together. Because wallahi, this is all a plot of the devil to try to, you know, take us off the faith. <coughs> I love you all for the sake of Allah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been back with a with a new one, but um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people would be saying the opposite, SQ. No, you know, shubu, uh, uh, shubuha, shahawat, the, the youth don't need to know about this. You can't shelter people, bro. There's the internet. They will find out about it. So we got to be proactive and talk about it before they just land upon it. So Allah will reward you for having doubts in Islam, depending on how you handle it. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.